I'm going to perform a Microsoft SQL Server backup on Backup Exec 21. So we see we have an SCCM server that's running System Center Configuration Manager, which is running on a SQL Server, and I'm going to run a backup. So I can choose either backup, which creates a scheduled backup, where it will run full and incremental or differential backups, or just a one-time. I can choose to the cloud or to the disk, and I've actually got both options set up. So I'll choose disk just because it's faster. And I have the option, since it's a virtual machine, to do a virtual-based backup or an agent-based backup. Now, an agent-based backup gives you more control over that particular server. So I'm going to choose that, although it's not a bad idea to do a virtual based backup as long as you're backing up the host anyway. And in this case, I am not. So we see the options to run the different backups. I'm going to uncheck everything except for my SQL Server. And under Edit, I can choose which storage device I would like to use and when I would like to run it. So I'm going to choose this particular storage device. But you can choose any one that you have. You have multiple ones. I could also choose the cloud as well. There's my Azure Storage Cloud device. I can decide how long I want to keep it and whether or not I want to do compression. Now, if this is on a physical device, you may see both physical as well as software compression options. I'm doing this on a virtual machine, so I only see the software option. And you also have the option with encryption as well, but you'll have to set that up separately before you get to this point. Under notification, you can decide who will get notified by clicking on the manage recipients and choosing to add a recipient. And you can use your Microsoft 365 email as well as Exchange on premises. I personally don't like to verify the data just because it makes it take twice as long and I can do verification manually anyway. The other option we want to take a look at is SQL itself. I'm going to be running a full backup of the database. I can also choose other options that you see here. And it's going to run a consistency check, which is going to run a physical check only, but I could also do a full check, including or excluding indexes. And the other options pretty much are good just the way that they are. So I'm just going to click OK. And I'm going to click OK once again. And then run the SQL backup. After the job runs, you can then restore your SQL databases to the same or a different server. Just make sure you use the correct credentials. So that is how we run a backup of MS SQL in Backup Exec 21 as well as older versions.